Hey everyone, it's Unsung NPC back here with another prestige class video for you today. And we are taking a look at the duelist class. The duelist class. Class. <laughs> here are the requirements for duelist. You have to have a base attack bonus of six. Okay, that tells you where your level of your character needs to be at. Sixth level, you have to be seventh level to take the first level if you're a full BAB class. And you're gonna have to be higher level if you're a lower BAB class. Okay, you have to have the combat mobility feat, the weapon finesse feat, the dodge feat, and two ranks of mobility. Okay, this is a dex based class, a dex based class, and it's going to be helpful to have intelligence on your character as well, because you're going to benefit from that in this class. Before we get into the nitty gritty of it, I want to tell you, if you like this video, like it, subscribe for more content. Join the Discord to chat with us other nerds and geeks about this game and many others. And check out my stream on Twitch, where I am now streaming an evil run of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, leading up to the new DLC that just came out. Now, back into the thing, okay? First, you get Candy Defense, okay? Candy Defense adds one point of intelligence per class level as a dodge bonus for as many points of intelligence as you have for the modifier. Okay, so if you get a plus 10 modifier to intelligence, you'll get a plus 10 bonus to your AC for dodge bonus. If you, for whatever reason, become flat-footed, you do lose this bonus. Okay? We also get Precise Strike. When you're handling a light or one-handed piercing weapon, okay, you get to add your duelist level to the damage roll, which is awesome. Okay, you can't have another weapon in your hand, your other hand, sorry. You can't have a shield, all right? And it only works with creatures with discernible and uh, anatomies, okay? So if anything's immune to crits, like constructs or other things like that, they're gonna be immune to precise strike, okay? Yes, this is a duelist class. So one-handed, light, melee, piercing weapons are the way to go. Daggers work, rapiers work, short swords work, I think short swords are, are piercing, yeah. I think those are going to be the three. I can't think of any other one-handed or light piercing weapons. I think longsword is technically slashing. I could be wrong. Okay. You get improved reaction. Plus two to your initiative. And then at eighth level, you get plus two more. So a total of plus four. And this does stack with the improved initiative feat. So you can get a total of plus eight if you take that feat, which is awesome. Okay, you also get parry. This is gonna be a key feature of the duelist class, okay? Whenever you make a full attack with a light or one-handed piercing weapon, you can attempt to parry the first attack against you or an adjacent ally, okay? What happens is you make an attack roll and if your attack roll is higher than theirs, then you avoid their attack, okay? And then as the creatures get bigger and bigger, the, those opposed parries are gonna be more difficult to make, okay? So plus four penalty to your attack roll for each size category that you go up. Not great for this game. Wrath has a lot of really big enemies and you wanna be able to take them down. And if you just can't parry them at all because of the penalty, it's gonna be really tricky, all right? Cool. Well, that's what parry does. So, uh, third level, enhanced mobility. Plus four to AC against attacks or opportunities when you're trying to move out of threatened spaces. Okay? Uh, fourth level, you get combat reflexes for free, which allows you to make an additional number of attacks for opportunity based on your dex mod. We went over this in the feats video. And you also get grace, which gives you plus two to reflex saves. And it's a competence bonus, so remember that. It doesn't stack with other competence bonuses. You get repost at fifth level, where anyone that you successfully parry, you can make a attack of opportunity against them. So parry and then sh strike. Okay. Acrobatic movement, your, no your speed is no longer reduced on difficult terrain. So cool. Elaborate defense. If you choose to fight defensively, you gain an additional plus one dodge bonus to AC for every three levels of duelist. So that will be up to an additional three 
And if you're taking ranks of mobility, that's also going to increase. So fighting defensively is going to be pretty good. You're going to be able to actually handle that pretty well. So nice plus three to AC when fighting defensively. You get deflect arrows for free. So when using a lighter one-handed piercing weapon. So it's not the actual deflect arrows feat. It's only when using a light or one-handed piercing weapon, but you do get deflect arrows. So the first range attack against you, you'll be able to be like, Psh, no. Okay. Then you get no retreat. You, any enemies that try to withdraw from you, it's where they don't have to take an attack of opportunity, will provoke an attack of opportunity. No one gets away from you. Okay. And then we have crippling critical. Okay, when you confirm a critical hit using a lighter one-handed piercing weapon, uh, you can apply one of the following penalties in addition to the damage dealt. Okay, so you can reduce the armor class by four for a whole minute, which is insane. You can apply 2d6 points of bleed damage to the target, which is great. You can apply 1d4 points of dexterity damage minus four to saving those for a minute you can reduce the movement speed by half for a minute or you can do 1d4 points of strength damage to the target i think the armor class and uh armor class or depending on what if you have caster builds in your party maybe the saving throws are going to be huge bleed is also going to be great goes away when they take magical healing but not a lot of enemies take magical healing so I think the bleed is also cool. Movement speed's meh. Strength and dex damage can be good. It just depends on what kind of demon you're dealing with. And you have to figure out, are they a dex user? Are they a strength user? Which one's going to be more effective for you? So, but this is, this is really cool. It's just any time that you confirm a critical hit while using the appropriate weapon, you get to apply one of these effects. That is like super useful and that's on top of any like improved critical critical focus type thing that you might be applying as well. So that's a lot of, you can do a lot of critical damage as a duelist and you're pretty defensive as a duelist and you get to make a lot of attacks for opportunity as a duelist. So you're very opportunist as a duelist. Very cool, very cool class, very combative. Tricky, like I said, parry is going to be a lot more difficult to do on the larger enemies, so make sure that you're fighting the appropriate enemies, or if you can make sure you can handle the bigger ones. Now, what can go into Duelist? My favorite for going into Duelist is the Sword Saint Magus, because it's an intelligence based sword focused class as well, and they you get a you get canny defense here as well. People can correct me in the, in the comments if I'm wrong. I think, I think the canny defenses stack. Okay, I could be totally off. I think they stack. If they do, it's great. Even if they don't though, I still think Sword Saint's great because you gain a chosen weapon, which is awesome. So you get a free weapon focus in whatever weapon you choose. So you can choose one of the, the different uh, weapons available dagger rapier short sword etc okay punching dagger i forgot those um <laughs> so you can totally do that which would be really cool are tridents one-handed tridents might be one-handed if tridents are one-handed they would technically count because they're one-handed piercing um so very cool there very cool uh and yeah, you just get, you get these different bonuses. You get perfect strike, which is a fun ability. I, I went over these in the Mages video, but I think that uh, you also, critical perfection, intelligence bonus on critical confirmation rolls with chosen weapon, really great. Especially if you want to get those crippling criticals in there, really effective. I think Sword Saint is probably my favorite choice going into Duelist. You can also do fighter. Um, Fighter's gonna have full BAB. I know Magus doesn't have full BAB, but that's okay. Uh, okay. 
Duelist has full BAB. I actually forgot we didn't go over this. Full BAB, low fort, low will, high reflex, makes sense. Average HP, perception, persuasion, and mobility. You don't need much else. Okay. I mean, you could really do anything. War Priest also gets you a free weapon focus thing, so like War Priest could be cool if you wanted to. Slayers always are good choices. Fighters are always good choices. Uh, you could do Ranger, also a great choice. I mean, you could you could go Barbarian Duelist if you wanted to. I think it'd be difficult because I think Barbarians do work better as Strength Barbarians, but... You know, it is what it is. Now you can do a Dex Barbarian. There's no bonuses to strength, it's just bonuses to attack rolls. So, you could totally do a Dex Barbarian. Uh, Vivisectionist is another popular choice into Duelist, especially since you'll get some sneak attack with it and some other things that'll make you pretty defensive. You can always get Feral Wings, which give you plus three bonus to AC and melee, which is always great. You can get a dex based mutagen, which is great. So, the sectionist in a duelist is a good choice. Lots of interesting options. You could even go. You could even just dip one level. I know Pondor loves this. Dip one level into Alchem Alchemist to get the mutagen, and then go like full fighter, ranger, slayer, something with full BAB, and then go into duelist that way. So, that's also a choice. So, very, very cool. Yeah, this is the Duelist. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys, you know, if you guys come up with any cool ideas, throw them down in the comments. I've only got a limited ideas because the possibilities of Duelist are so vast, really. There's like so, you could go rogue. There's so many things you could do with it. It's very generic combat class. So if anyone has any cool, interesting ideas that they've come up with, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, join the Discord, follow me on Twitch for streams, and I'm Unsung NPC, and I will catch you guys in the next one.